Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Axe TV. My name is Lonnie Luis. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, October 17th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Wow, it's always good to have a growing mindset. Now let's learn a new word with Word of the Day. Hey Alex, why were you late today? Well, when I was on my way to class, there was a commotion in the hallway. Oh, I feel you. This always are being busy and nosy. Yeah, but I found a shortcut to class out of all that commotion. That's great. You have to show it to me later. Definitely. See you tomorrow, word of the day. Wow, what a great new word. Now let's check in Today in History with Nia. Hey, Patriots. Today in History on October 17, 1937, Donald Duck's nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie made their first appearance in a comic strip called Donald Duck, created by Mr. Walt Disney himself. These characters also have their own series called DuckTales, which was made in 2017. DuckTales is about the tales of three ducks going on fun adventures every day with their Uncle Scrooge. It is a reboot of the series DuckTales that was made in 1987. It's amazing how far these characters came. I really need to find that comic. It sounds so exciting. Now let's check in with Jasmine for today's tasty lunch. Thank, Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is Alfredo pasta, turkey and cheese sandwich, carrots, peaches, and your choice of milk. Stay Students, please clean them out the lunch and at any time. And, and always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let us know if you were receiving less today. Bon appetit! Let's get back to Melanie. Thank you, Jasmine. I can't wait for lunch. Keep your second. We are counting on you to pass your lessons for this instructional software challenge. You'll need 20 minutes weekly in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. Third through eighth, your mission is to have 25 past lessons in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. This challenge will end on Thursday, October 20th for all grades. It ends soon, so please keep getting them done. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Students, the candy drive ending in three days. Please keep on bringing bags of wrapped candy that can be donated to the fall festival. Rewards will be given to the teacher and class with the most candy donated. Thank you to all the students that donated so far. I'm so excited for the fall festival on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's going to be so much fun and exciting Halloween activities and we get to dress up. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are on sale on my school books. You all should go too. I know my friends are going to love these boot grams. I can't wait to surprise them with one of these exciting bundles. Make sure to buy some for your friends before October 26. Teachers, you only have three days to finish up your boards for Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board Contest. I can't wait to see all your amazing boards. The winner will be announced on October 20th and you will win a special prize. The Hispanic Heritage Show is on Wednesday, October 19th. As someone that's part of the show, I would say it's sure an amazing journey to Encanto. Doors are open at 5.30 p.m. and tickets will be $5 cash per person at the door. This performance will be a journey of a lifetime. Giddy up! K-5, through the Barnyard Dance is coming up. It's on Friday, October 28th and the entry price is $5. I hope you guys can join us for the ride. 
Hey Paige, if you're in front of the gym right now, you may have noticed this red mailbox. Well, what's this red box supposed to be? Good question. It's a turning your sports packets. So, do I just have my parents sign it and that's it? Nope, not exactly. This page has to be turned into your doctor and signed by them. And grade sheet has to be taken to your teacher for grades and behavior. Then what? Then, that's when the red mailbox comes in. You just walk over to it and turn it in. You don't have to wait for a coach to give it to them. What if I want to try out for another sport? Do I have to re-sign the packet? Nope. Once you fill it out, you don't have to fill it out again. Wow, it's so easy. As you can see, Patriots, follow these steps and you'll be ready to go. See, see you at tryouts. tryouts! Sports fans, the final call for girls basketball tryouts is tomorrow, Tuesday, October 18th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. If you're trying out, make sure you have your grade check sheet and completed physical packet. It's that time of year for our school book fair. It'll take place October 24th to October 28th and it'll also be at the Fall Festival. Students can bring in cash or use e-wallet but no credit cards. Please look at the schedule to see when your time to go to the book fair. I can't wait for my turn. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Sophia. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a fresh 86 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. In other weather news, this fruit is in over two dozen states, but not many can say they've tried it. It's called the pawpaw. This fruit looks like a huge lima bean, but thankfully doesn't taste like one. It tastes like it's a cross between a banana and a mango. These fruits are also high in antioxidants, making them super nutritious. They grow best in subtropical areas, so it makes sense why pawpaw trees are the largest native to the U.S. They can be used in a number of your favorite foods, like ice cream or jam, and even substitute for bananas. Do you plan to try this? Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Sophia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. It's almost time for Miss Hart's Hispanic Heritage Show. The one thing I'm most excited about is the theme. After all, I love the movie. This show is going to be fantastical and magical. Hey Destiny, which do you prefer, spaghetti or mac and cheese? Definitely mac and cheese for the win. Well, it's National Pasta Day, Patriots, so we can mac on all the cheese we want. I am totally loving this day. The new Mario trailer was released. A lot of critics are talking about Chris Pratt voicing Mario, but overall, the movie is definitely one to watch with a bunch of our favorite video game characters. Make sure to clear your calendars, Patriots. You don't want to miss it. The Perez Arts Museum show has found a way to show movies on the water. In Miami Beach, floating films on the bay is a free way to watch a movie while enjoying some time in the sands. That sounds like a great way to chill and have fun in the sand. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Hendrick for the birthdays. Thanks, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Johan Burles Aldana, Briella Burns, Ethan Gentilian, and Preston Verdella. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hendrick. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents... Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Ayan Nkwa, Ms. Stone. You two had the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, what kind of ship has two mates but no captain? The correct answer was, a friendship or a relationship. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. How many Earths can fit inside of the sun? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesoutrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!